Oh, you're finally awake, sleepyhead. You're so cute when you sleep. Your cuteness never gets old in my eyes, no matter how old we get. But it sure is a shame that I have to obscure your looks with duct tape and rope. Babe, this is my childhood home. Remember? We played here a lot when we were kids. Remember that time when you and I pretended that there was a scary beast down here in the basement? And do you remember all the hours that we would spend playing house? Well, imagine this is like that. You'll play the role of my lovely spouse, and I'll play the role of your husband. Only... This isn't pretend, of course. This is the real deal. Why are you struggling? It's me, silly. I've known you since we were in diapers. I've been there for all your bad haircuts and weird phases. Come on, you know me. Why are you looking at me with such hatred and fear? You don't need to be scared of me. Look, remember the promise we made as little kids? That we would date and get married when we were older? It doesn't... mean anything to you? But you shouldn't break a promise, especially one so crucial and important like that. I meant every word, and since then, I've only dedicated myself to, well, you. I turned down every girl in my path for you. But yet, here you are, accepting requests upon requests from filth who just want to use you. I can't believe you didn't keep your word. Yet, here I am keeping my promise to you. That's not fair to me, you know? But... It's okay. I mean, who else are you going to socialize with other than me here? All you need in this world is me, darling. I'll be sure to keep you safe. After all, I know every pressing detail and fact about you, so I'll be sure everything you need and want is provided for. I've already stocked the house with your favorite snacks and drinks. I've studied your favorite dishes, and learned how to make them to a tea. I know every little thing about you, darling. I know you like the back of my hand. My whole world revolves around you, and I can't have someone else taking my world and laying their filthy hands on you. You're my everything. You always have been, and you most certainly always will be. Babe, stop trying to escape. I really don't want to have to hurt you. So, behave, okay? I don't want to run this thing across your lovely skin. However, if I need to paint your skin in crimson, then I will if I must. Don't make me hurt you, okay? Thank you. I swear, if you behave and don't try to escape, I'll happily let you roam around. But for now, though, your desire for freedom needs to be put to an end. Instead, let's replace them with thoughts of our future together. You know, your parents have always approved of me. Our parents know each other, and they talk all the time. It's only natural that you and I end up together. My parents speak so highly and are so fond of you, darling. And I couldn't agree with them more. 
I want to escalate our love from play dates to actual dates. From playing house to actually owning a house and having kids. Speaking of kids, do you think our kids would take your eyes that I get so easily lost in? The hair that I could play with for hours on end and never get bored? Your cute nose? I'm sure if they took after you, they would definitely be cuter. I don't really have any names in mind, but that can be decided later. Maybe that's too far in the future. For now, we should focus on me drowning you in the love that you deserve. Then we can work our way towards marriage and kids. You do want that with me, right? I want those things with you, and so much more. Uh, I've lost track of time again. But don't worry, I cherish all the time I spend with you, babe, and I plan on making one of your favorite dishes tonight. However, I have to go provide for the two of us, of course. Can't really do much when you're restrained, right? Well, all you have to do today is sit there and be cute, like a caged canary. Maybe if you behave... I'll let you out of your restraints and let your wings soar, if you're good, of course. Now, I gotta head out, but I love you so much. I'll see you when I get home. Don't go anywhere, okay?